is Professor Jim Caffey, and today we are doing the next to last lecture in our 30 chapter series called 10 Minute Astronomy for the OpenStax Astronomy Free Textbook. And chapter 29 is called The Big Bang. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Prepare to have your mind blown. Our space telescope of the future is almost here. As of late 2019, it is going to be uh, going to French Guiana uh, for launch. And uh, it's going to be about a million miles away from the Earth, so we can't go service it like we did Hubble. This one is going to be much bigger, much more complex. Well, two of the greats. Einstein and Hubble. Here we go. Five supernovae and their host galaxy. So we've seen this before where a supernova, one star completely blowing itself apart becomes brighter than the galaxy is in combined. Wow. Well, this is a big graph to just kind of say that over time the expansion of the universe has been changing and also the further back in time you look, let's say we look 13 billion light years away, those galaxies are moving away from us with a large galactic redshift Sometimes for 40 to 50 percent the speed of light, whereas things near us don't go near that far. A beautiful globular cluster, 47 to county. This is neat. Here we see the European extremely large telescope, the European very large telescope as compared to the Colosseum. Wow, they're huge. I go like that. You look at a balloon and you blow it up. You've got dots on it. Those are your galaxies. As you blow up that balloon, those galaxies move farther apart. Just like that raisin bread <clears throat> we looked at a few chapters ago. Here's where it starts getting tough. Currently, we have four possible models of the universe. Um, it could be decelerating in a closed or open system. It could be just coasting along, or uh, it could be an accelerating universe. We are finding out. We've seen the Hubble Ultra Deep Field in Chapter 28. So beautiful. Here is La Matre, and this Belgian cosmologist. Uh, was one of the first. He predicted Hubble's law, the expansion rate of the universe, two full years before its verification. And he was the first to consider seriously the physical processes by which the universe began. Wow. Here is George Gamow. And George was one of the first to consider the physics of the Big Bang. The temperature of the universe has a cooled off. We can measure with the cosmic background radiation the temperature of the edge of the universe when it was formed. And it's just a 
few degrees Kelvin, um, many hundreds of degrees below zero. I believe the number is about 2.73 Kelvin. All right, Robert Wilson and Arno Penzias, they are standing in front of the Bell Labs horn-shaped antenna from which they discovered by accident the cosmic background radiation, and they received their Nobel Prize in physics for it. And that radiation um, <clears throat> has been measured, I was right, 2.73 Kelvin, and this was measured by an instrument in space called COPE, Cosmic Origins Background Explorer. And what did it see? It found some smoothness to the universe and temperature, but it also uh, found inconsistencies. Very interesting. For the whole universe, how could space be shaped? Is it spherical? Is it flat? Or is it hyperbolic? And we see those uh, shapes. What is the universe comprised of? Most of it's this dark stuff. Um, <clears throat> we find that in the observable universe, only 5% is the stuff we can actually see. Stars, galaxies, planets, superclusters, all that stuff. Only 5%. Dark matter is 27%, and dark energy, which is a whole other realm, is two-thirds of the entire universe composition. We can detect it, we can't see it, which makes it hard. And so this is a new discovery, a new theory. In the 70s, we had... Um, some visible matter and some dark matter. In the 80s, it changed to something different. And then in the 90s, it turned into this dark energy. Here's a cartoon from NASA. It takes a humorous look at how little we yet understand about dark matter. A mystery flavor. <laughs> we just don't know. And whoever does figure it out, will win the Nobel Prize in Physics. Well, here's a neat image uh, we've made up of the history of the universe. And right after it was born, we see this afterglow light right at the edge. And then throughout the next 400 million years, we see the first stars, followed by development of galaxies, and then dark energy accelerating the expansion. There are four forces, fundamental forces, that govern the universe. We have gravity, the weak nuclear force, the strong nuclear force, and the electromagnetic force. Of those four, can you guess which one is the weakest? It would be gravity. <clears throat> well, that was chapter 29 on the Big Bang in our 30-part series. So be sure to watch the next one, chapter 30, in 10-Minute Astronomy. Thanks. Well, did you enjoy that episode of 10-Minute Astronomy? If so, check out all the other videos in that playlist for 10 Minute Astronomy and other videos on my channel, and then hit the subscribe button right there. Thanks.